Hey, what's up there boys and girls? Retro Old School here. Of course, my real name is Elton McFoley here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, where I was born and raised. It's a beautiful Saturday evening. And uh, I wanted to come here because I never filmed this part of Côte d'Anage Boulevard, of course. Uh, speaking of uh, south of Queen Mary Boulevard, which is right here. And I specifically wanted to get the setting sun lighting up all the buildings and trees all beautifully, you know, groovy. Can you dig it? You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's great that there's St. Joseph's Oratory right there. Let me just uh, walk off here to give you a little bit of a better view of it. Beautiful and majestic building. And Côte d'Anage Boulevard runs all the way north, all the way to uh, the TMR, town of Mount Royal section. Yeah, man. Look, you can even see the moon over there starting to show itself. Right there. Half moon even. And I'm happy to say that the lens has stopped shaking when I'm retracting. And I figured it's because of... I figured it's because uh, that the temperature is normal now. You know, an averaging, what, 15 degrees a day Celsius. Whereas before it was like 25 to 30 or more. So that wasn't uh, Piedmont Street, Larry. Piedmont. Look at this fucking three streets here. Piedmont, Gatineau, <laughs> and Côte d'Anage. And yes, indeed, the sun is setting, but I'm not going to show it because it's not good for the sensors to show that. Yep, Arctic scrap. I do admit something though, I don't know if I mentioned in other videos that I like about those buses compared to regular scrap, is if you're not riding in the trailer park, if you're not riding in the back, it's and you're in the front, it's actually decent, it's not bad. If you're on a pretty good road, it's not bad of a ride. It's the trailer park that's fucking horrible. You might as well be riding in the trailer uh, hooked up to a car. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I still hate him. I like that Mini instead. Ah, beautiful evening for a fine little film. And of course, this street is littered with all kinds of apartment buildings of various ages. I even filmed a couple old, uh, oh, not just old, very old Rolofsen elevators, uh, I don't know, last year, year before. And uh, that's different, eh? And uh, yeah, yeah, and they were actually, it's funny because there was this old man, I don't know if, I think it was the concierge, and he told me that they were actually going to be uh, modding them, uh, modifying them, and, you know, renewing them, unfortunately, and it's just, it's not the same, you know? It's just not the same. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and also I figured, you know what, the fuck the Arctic scrap, what am I going to be on it, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I'll go right down after, I'll take it, it'll take me 10 minutes, I'll go right back down to Guy... A metro where I got off earlier this afternoon and that's it man you know no fucking around uh, with uh, switching uh, three times the two times on the metro there you know or a fucking blue line orange line green line that yada 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 you know what I'm saying oh yeah and there's something else I almost forgot that I was thinking about filming too there is like some sort of an old armory near here and there's a vintage tank outside. I don't think it's a Sherman tank or anything, but still, I want to see if maybe I could film it. I don't know if I'm going to walk there, I guess. What street is this here? Oh, yeah, Dessel. La Rue Dessel. Yeah, man. Ah, it's a beautiful evening. Yeah, it feels good to be alive, even though the cars are mostly boring. Oh, my God. Come on now. Yeah, that's why I film. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. That's not why I film. I film because I want to film and catch all the moments. You know? Alright, I'm not supposed to do that, but whatever. This is Montreal. We do this kind of thing. It's quite a routine. It's routine. Routine. All I want to do, pretty lady. Spend some time with you, pretty lady. That's a pretty nice looking Volvo for a colorless car. Look, there's my shadow. All I want to do, pretty lady, spend some time with you. It looks like I'm fucking 20 feet tall. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? There you go. You're all part of my motion picture now. 
Oh, this was a great idea. My favorite time to film and photograph is now the low sun. I just love the way everything looks, you know? Those headlights are really annoying. It's not even dark yet and they're fucking annoying. You know what I'm saying? Ah, you guys remember like me, if you ever spent any time on uh, on this boulevard where, you know, it was the uh, classics, the Nova Bus classics, MCI classics, and of course the older LFSs that were the norm. Oh, what's that? What the fuck is that? Old Mercedes. Oh, that's nice. It's clean. Oh, look at this, a town car. A wedding. I was going to say wedding in October, but it's September, uh, September 29th, the last day of September today. Yeah, discount rentals. There's an Oldsmobile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big park here. Oh, no, sorry, that's quite a nice cemetery. Jesus Christ, I should almost go pay respects to my family there. But I mean, you know, pay respects. I mean, look, what am I paying respects to? A grave. There's nobody there. There's not even, not even a, what, there's a couple of bodies there? You know, I mean, rotting away. I mean, I never forget anybody that, 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 and I never forget any of the McFalls. I mean, obviously, especially my father, he's been dead for fucking 11 years, you know? And, uh, not only that, even my grandfather, everybody else, Steve, my uncle Brian, my uncle Steve, I mean, you know, they're gone, not forgotten. I think about them, you know? I just think about them. Family. You know? Shit. Respect, love. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a funky building. Eh? That's a funky, funky building. I'm getting a little, little hungry. Yeah. Hey, in case you haven't seen me before, here I am. 41 year old male. Six foot three. Sort of ambitious. Definitely artistic, definitely opinionated, definitely controversial, loudmouth, big talker, dreamer, and so forth. You know, this reminds me. This reminds me of that song from 1980 that hit from Gary Newman. Here in my car, I feel safer than home. I can do all my chores because I'm living in cars. Something like that. Oh, there's an ugly fucking SUV if there was ever one. Jesus, God, that's ugly. What the hell were they thinking over there at Infinity? Oh, excuse me. Nissan. Oh, snap. You guys are in for a treat. Look. Oh, Cadillac. 80s. Oh, yeah, man. Is it the same one that... Uh, oh, look at this weird thing. Is it the same one that's uh, in my neighborhood in Oshalaga? Because this is an old guy who has uh, one that looks like this one. But then again, there's so many of these. They're white. Uh, I filmed, like, what? At least two or three of them. You know? Well, let's have a look. There was one also I filmed uh, last year, I think, in NDG. Yeah, it looks like the same one. Oh, no, it's a Coupe de Ville. Now I have to film it. Right on. Cool. All right. All right. Right on. I'll give you guys a quick look before I resume the film or do a little video. I videoed it. Okay, right on. So I just filmed this Coupe de Ville and I found out filming it through the dealer tag that's still on the trunk which means that this is probably original paint that this thing was originally from Vancouver. See? It says Duick Vancouver. Dig it. Well this is great. I didn't expect to see an old car in the street uh, frankly because of the fact that well you know it's like a, it's all apartment buildings here you know and usually people oh, you hear that the sound of scrap Usually people live in apartment buildings don't often have old cars because you don't have anywhere to work on it And you're not allowed anymore to work on an old car or any car for that matter in the garage of an apartment building period Smuts thing don't go out of focus you bugger Come on now Oh now the camera is not staying in focus because I've been filming it 
continuously for quite a while now, so she she does that to me. So now I got to keep an eye on her and walk a little bit slower, even maybe. Look at that old uh, shell station there. That's pretty cool, eh? I like that. Damn, I always forget the name of the street though over here for some reason. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Ah, oh, yeah, that's it, Ridgewood, Ridgewood, right, right. Yeah, this street goes up pretty high, high actually. Uh, there's a bus that goes up there, the 11, I think. Yeah. I remember one time uh, I went for a ride with uh, the other bus fanatics there. Uh, we took uh, 5140 there, ex Montreal uh, 95 Classic, and we drove, they drove it up there and uh, took some pictures. It's pretty cool. You know, right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old cemetery. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is that? Is that another old car? What is that? What's that? Oh, wow. Look at that. Holy shit. Audi 5000. S5000. Wagon. A wagon from Ontario? Yeah, from Ontario. Wow. 80s. Holy shit, it's funny to see that because I recently sold an ad for one. I had an ad for one, 85. Interesting. What a boat compared to these. What a piece of fucking junk though those things are. Oh my god. Seriously, fucking Audis? They're definitely worse than BMW. I know BMWs had flaws in those years, but those fucking Audis. But then again, just like any car, it's neat to see nevertheless, you know. It's, it's, it's just a nice, neat old car. I bet you there's a lot of mechanics they would see that and they're like, oh man, I drop a fucking 350 block in that motor. 350 Chev LS motor. Maybe it would probably bring up the value even, eh? Look at this. MGM. <laughs> Look at this uh, mural or something. Hmm. Oh yeah, the new taxis, they look like this. Check this out. Yeah. Oh look, sea cut, Connecticut. Yeah, the goddamn camera doesn't want to stay in focus now. Man, that thing is in good shape though. Christ, even those wheels are original. Wow, you guys got to see two old cars in the street. I never thought I would see even one old car. That's weird. Pretty strange. Now, where's that armory? Okay, there's the entrance for the Code Dinesh Cemetery. Right here, like beautiful vintage old buildings. I think my cousin Grant... Hey, if you Grant, if by any chance you're watching, what's up there, cousin? I think he said he came up here recently. Uh, but man, if I come in there, and then I can't go in there now anyway, it's getting dark. It's the last place I want to be is <laughs> as dark as a cemetery. <laughs> Look, it's closed anyway. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Porsche Cayenne. Fucking colorless cars. Yeah. A lot of people moving, eh? Okay, I think this is it, man, because uh, I'm going to think I'm going to continue some other time because the camera just doesn't want to stay in focus, so she's too hot. Now. She's fed up. So that's it. That's all, guys. Hope you liked it. Uh, I'm going to check the time. If I see it's not, uh, if I haven't filmed her enough, then I'll uh, continue, but I'll have to wait a bit. I don't know.